Hello, everybody. We're back with another one. Okay, let's start. So, why are mountains so funny? Because they're hilarious. Heal areas. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Speaking of areas, man, my segues are on point. Speaking of areas, today we're going to be covering uh, areas of a circle. Okay, so we've learned how to find the circumference. Um, we've learned how to find the diameter and we've learned how to find the radius. We've learned how to move forwards and backwards. Um, today, we're actually going to find the area of the circle. Um, so area is slightly different. We're not trying to find a length. We're trying to actually find the amount of 2D space it holds. Um, and so very simply here, the area of a circle, and I've drawn a nice circle here and I've colored it in. I didn't really fit in the lines. That's okay. <clears throat> okay. So the area of the circle, and I want everyone to write this down. Um, this is going to be a formula that you're going to remember for hopefully the rest of your life. Area of a circle is given by A stands for area, and it just equals to pi r squared. Okay. Now, remember, when we're talking about area, the units that you measured in is area squared. So it makes sense that this is the formula that's got the pi r squared. Okay. So conference, don't get confused. So conference. I can fit it in here. It doesn't really fit, but circumference is given by two pi r or pi d. Now notice how these ones here, not, neither of those are squared, but this one here is a squared. So whenever I'm talking about area, remember, I need to be thinking mm, r squared. Okay, so let's just remove that. And that's our formula. Area equals to pi times radius squared. Okay, straightforward. So if I've got these two here, if I want to find the area of these ones, let's pick a nicer color. Okay, <clears throat> pi times radius squared. Okay, remember, I'm going to write down the formula every time so we don't forget. So in my mind, I'm going to be, okay, A equals to pi times radius, and that there is my radius. So it's going to be pi times 7 squared. And so if I put that in my calculator, you should get maybe to one decimal place, I'll say 153.9. And because it's area, I need to answer in centimeters squared. Okay, because I'm talking about space. Okay, so let's take a look at this one here. Now here, we're actually given the diameter, right? Because it goes from one side to the other. So it's not a radius. So again, my formula is A equals to pi R squared. So what I need to do is if my diameter is 11, what's my radius? How do I find what half that length is? Well, I'm going to divide it by two. And what's half of 11? 5.5. Okay, so sometimes we're going to have to use decimals and that's fine. So here it's going to be saying pi times and my radius is 5.5. And I'm going to square the 5.5. So ready, you go pi times 5.5 squared put that in your calculator and you should get an area of 95, I guess, 0 0.0 centimeters square. Now, just take a look here. I've done this purposefully, but look at the first one. A looks a little bit smaller and it's got the number seven and B looks a little bit bigger, but it's got the number 11. Now these aren't to scale because technically which circle is bigger? Leave a like or leave in the comments below, which circle is bigger, A or B? Hopefully, you picked A. See if you can explain why. Okay, so there's also another type of area that they'll ask you to find. So here I've got not a whole circle, but I've got a sector, a sector, sector. Um, it's just a part of a circle. It's like a pizza slice. All right now, I've got the radius. The radius is four. So that's kind of good. So we know that our area is going to equal to pi r squared, but we've got our radius. But because we don't have the whole circle, we only have a portion. Now remember, what portion do we have? Well, we've got 45 degrees over a total of how many? There's 360 degrees total. So that's what we do here. So here our area would be pi times radius squared, which is four squared. But then I'm just gonna multiply it by my portion. So in other words, it's gonna be 45 on 
360. Okay, so if I put this in my calculator, um, 45 on 360, we'll put it all there, making sure that we don't forget our squares and everything. What we end up with is we end up with an area of uh, 6.28, that's the two decimal places, that's going to be centimeters squared. Okay, so that's just using your calculator. I highly suggest getting a proper calculator. Do not use the one on your phone, it's not as good. Uh, <clears throat> so that's what I would do. All right, now there's one last type of question. Sorry if this video is getting a little bit long. But sometimes they'll start giving you fancier shapes that kind of have to do with circles. Sometimes it's going to be like circles and squares or circles on top of circles or circles taken out of circles. And so sometimes they'll ask, find the shaded region. Now we can only see here that there's an actual, there's a part that's shaded, and there's a part that's unshaded. So the way that we actually find the area of the shaded region, it would make sense to me is it's the area of the big circle. And then we take away the area of the smaller circle, which is the unshaded part. Okay, so we're trying to almost find the area of the whole thing. And then kind of like a donut, we just cut out the middle part, which we don't want to count. All right, so if I want the area of the big circle, let me do my working up out here. Uh, I'll call this one the big circle. And so we see here the area needs to be pi r squared we see here that it's got a diameter of 20. So if it's got a diameter of 20, the radius should actually be, should be 10, should be half of that, right? So for the big circle, it's gonna be pi times 10 squared. Okay, now what about for the smaller one? The smaller circle, we can see here that five meters is actually a radius. So it's going to be a radius, and for that radius, it's going to be pi times r squared again, but this time it's going to be pi times not 10, but the radius is 5. So it's going to be pi times 5 squared. And so what I need to do now is the area of the big one, so pi times 10 squared. Here, let me calculate it first. So pi times 10 squared, that's going to give me... 314 point, we'll do two decimal places, one six meters squared. And then for the small one, the small one, we're gonna have pi times five squared. And that's gonna give us 78.54 meters squared. And so to find just the shaded area, I'm gonna minus the small one from the big one. So I'm gonna go 314.16, and I'm going to take away the smaller circle, which is 78.54. And that there should give me a total of 314.16, whoops, 0.16, take away 78.54, doing the calculations live. And your answer should be 235.62 and it's gonna be meters squared because we're talking about area. Okay, hopefully you guys were able to, to follow through. If you're anything, if you are unsure about anything, feel free to pause the video, go back and rewatch the examples. Uh, if not, please leave, the, please leave any questions in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you. All right, well, anyways, all the best. Good luck with all your area of circles. Good luck seeing this in year nine, year 10, year 11 and 12. It comes up again and again. Uh, and yeah, happy mathing. See you guys later. Bye.